microtransactions. There's been a sudden uprise of disgruntled customers when it comes to Dragon's Dogma 2, because it contains microtransactions. You can buy the game, and then you can buy more stuff for the game, which I found um, find a little bit weird. However, microtransaction is not a new phenomenon, not even a little bit. I mean, it has been in games since, well, basically the start of gaming. When you played on the arcade machines, you put in quarters in order to play the game more, or if you wanted more lives and all that kind of thing. But it has become predominantly more annoying, especially when you pay for the game, especially if you pay full price. Now, the thing about microtransactions is that I have a kind of divided view of it. If the game is free to play, I mean, you get the game for free, depends on how reliant you are of the microtransactions or the purchasable items that are in the game. Like, let's say Genshin Impact. Now, I have played Genshin Impact. I played for about six hours, didn't pay a cent for it, and well, six hours of fun for nothing, that's fantastic. Now, the problem arises when you have to pay for to enjoy the game. Now, to my understanding, Dragon in Dragon Dogma 2, you don't have to buy anything. You can fully enjoy the game without purchase, purchasing a single thing. So, what's the real issue? Well, I think the issue is that you pay a full price for a game, and then you don't get the entirety of the game. And if they do introduce microtransactions, let's say a freemium game, where the game becomes unplayable unless you pay, that's a big problem. Oh, I am fully against that kind of practice, but I need to be perfectly clear. If the game is free, the developers can do whatever they want with it. It's just a plus if the game is fantastic and you don't have to pay for it. You can play through the game fully without paying. And then if you want to pay, the game becomes more fun. It's not really that big of an issue, in my opinion. Now, let's talk about Tekken. Now, I did not buy Tekken. I got it donated to me. I would have bought it once it came on sale, because I love Tekken, I love fighting games, and I would buy it fully aware that in the near future they would release characters like Eddie Gordo and you would have to pay real money for that character. I'm against that practice, but I still play the game, so in a way I guess I kind of support, support it. Like We can look at my reaction when I first th saw that Tekken introduced an in-game shop. Okay, what is this now? Update, okay. Tekken shop. Of course there's a Tekken shop. Uh, introduces in-game store for you just the contest have been assigned to USB rating of while in suggested theme language. Game purchases. Uh, so they can just change that. Now there's an in-game shop. Uh, why Tekken? Why? Now can I make this money in-game? I have a feeling that I can't. T-shirt I get for free. I mean, why not? My first purchase in Tekken. Cha-ching! <laughs> they even have the sounds. Oh, and they, of course, they do the thing that they get a thousand and fifty and uh, okay and five hundred, but stuff costs four hundred. Ah, oh, that's such a scummy move. Uh, why Tekken? Why? <sighs> yeah, let's just say I was not happy. And the practice of buying in-game currency and not being able to spend that currency fully <laughs> is so it's a scummy move. I'm gonna tell you a little bit of story. From way back when, when I played Black Desert Online, this was back in 2016, 2017, I loved that game. That was my game. I have thousands of hours in Black Desert Online. Now, they introduced the ability to buy pets, and the pets loot for you. So, you don't have to manually go to each and every mob that you've killed and loot them. Again, it is pay to win. Some would say it's pay to convenience, but I don't like that term. No, it's pay to win. You pay to be faster than other players. That's pay to win. But they also introduced costumes that gave you some bonuses. 10% more experience and leveling up in that game was a big deal. So yeah, the costumes were also pay to win. Just slightly, but still pay to win. But the thing about Black Desert is that I believe it was one of developers who promised us that it would not be the same that it was in Korea, where you could really pay to win. They decided that you could buy costumes uh, some from the in-game shop and then sell them on the marketplace, essentially buying gold, well, in this case, silver. Now, there were loads of pro protests about this. I was a part of that pro um, protest. Every guild leader <laughs> changed their icon to pay to win and then a crossover. We do not want this. We gathered up in the big cities, held a big pro protest, but they didn't care. They did it anyway. That is when I quit the game. But again, 
I played a little bit here and there because I still enjoy the combat and uh, the visuals of the game. But I could not invest more of my time into it, especially not my money. And if we talk about Street Fighter, it's the same deal. You know that they're gonna release characters and you would have to buy them. And it's probably going to be impossible or incredibly hard to buy them for in-game currency. The consensus is probably that most of you don't enjoy microtransactions or pay to win. I don't. Do I partake? I have. I don't enjoy it. World of Warcraft, once they introduced the WoW tokens, I was just like, what the hell? Like, money is such a big part of the game. Or at least it was. Now you can just buy gold. Then again, people bought gold from the third parties. Those people got banned. Which is understandable. It was cheating. But now you can cheat with real money. And who's to blame? Well, I'm to blame. You are to blame. <laughs> people who partake in the system are to blame. No, I don't think that if you play a game that has microtransactions, you are, you know, you're truly supporting the practice. But still, I think us gamers have gone way too far of accepting this kind of practice. Again, I must reiterate, when it comes to free, free-to-play games, I think that developers should be able to monetize the game in whatever way they see fit. I don't see a problem with that, unless it's toxic. And by toxic, I mean you play the game and all of a sudden, like, oh, you can't go further unless you pay. But the game is described as free to play. It is not free to play if you don't get to play the entire game. I'm not talking about gaining access to every single area. If we talk about RuneScape, let's say RuneScape. Now, that game was free to play to a certain point. Then you could become a member to unlock the rest of the map. More bosses, more loot, more, more stuff. Now, that is a fair practice, because the games do need to make money in order to stay afloat. But when a fully, with a game that costs, let's say, $70, and then you can, you don't unlock everything in the game, or you don't have the opportunity to unlock it for yourself, I think that is a horrible practice, and that practice need to, needs to end. But I have my doubts. I don't think it ever will. I think we are looking at a future where every game has microtransactions and you can't do nothing about them. And I don't like that. No, I think that as gamers, you should be rewarded for being good at the game. So in short, that is my opinion. I don't support it. I have played plenty of games with it. And if you, <laughs> and I'm probably going to continue to do so. And you are probably going to do it too. Now, the game that I'm currently playing and loving is Enshrouded. Now, if they introduced microtransactions, I would probably not stop playing the game, unless they made it toxic. Who knows? We will see. I hope not. It's a sad practice. I don't want it in my games. I don't want it in movies. I don't want it in my entertainment. I buy it once. I should own it. I should be able to do everything within it, within reason. I'm not talking about, let's say, starting up World of Warcraft and being able to defeat every boss on Mythic. But I shouldn't be able to pay for that opportunity. I think that is wrong. I think that goes against everything that I stand for as a gamer. So that is, this is my opinion piece. We will see. We will see how things goes for the future. I do respect other people's opinion about this. If you don't think it's pay to win, if you just think that you can ignore it, fine. That's fine. Totally fine. But I think we are headed towards, towards a hor horrible future for video games. Maybe. I hope that I'm wrong. I truly do. But anyhow, until next time.